Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the U2s versus Funko Pop Genos from One Punch Man Edition. I am your host, Kogo Smooth, and this one's going to be another long one, folks, because, um, again, I'm trying to get into a deep dive explaining, you know, the, the pros and cons, the um, ups and downs the uh, explaining culture slash economics versus aesthetics and accessibility all of it comparing you know every aspect that i can possibly can when it comes to uh you know pop versus u2s right uh, some some things are more objective some things are more subjective art is subjective you know, you people are going to like what they like, right? But objectively speaking, I would say based on packaging alone, U2s will always eat Funko Pops lunch because it already automatically comes with a, with a protector and a sleeve. And um, this does not, right? The art style, the great news is very much similar and congruent with the the way it's advertised for the the cartoon right or the anime you know the anime slash manga the you know um here i'm gonna take it out of the protector so you can guys see it so yeah the the, the one of the problems that i saw originally first when dealing with u2s in general is that uh, you don't see it when the protective sleeve is on it right you you, can, you don't actually see the the, the 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 product you just you have to guess that maybe this is what it looks like inside but even if so where's the rest of the where's the bottom half where's the <laughs> how big is big you know it, we, you can't really tell right you just this there's just no way to see you're just relying on this art and that's how it comes and that's you know that could be a problem for somebody who's not willing to pay 30 bucks to gamble on you know what something looks like they'd have to do some research when they go home and then before you know it they're already at the store and something wasn't bought you know what i mean um and they probably even forget and that's the problem you need you know with with u2s sometimes it's better to just be like the pop just have it you know show off the bat however however <laughs> The problem with this too is people might, cons you know, culture wise, might think that this is like, uh, look at this, U2 is trying to bite off Funko Pop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at these biters. They want to be Funko Pop so, so bad that they're, they're willing to just do this too. But yeah, no, who cares? I mean, the thing is, this looks great. I'm glad that there's options and I'm glad that this formula works. This is, I, I like to think that when u was trying to make its product, that it was going to be definitely to nab the people who are interested, who, who, who are Funko Pop people like myself. And they, they were successful in getting me to do it because I was waiting for a, uh, a, a Chainsaw Man pop, which was taking forever. And I ended up getting a Chainsaw Man u And that's what led to this rabbit hole to all of the u that I possess. Cause I was so impressed by that. Here we go. Here, here we are. And this is what it looks like. The art, subjective. Some people are just happy with just this, but I think this is dynamic and awesome. And not only that, with the back, you could you you only see what's what the other thing. This, this is the one part that I have to say that does suck about U2s. This shows what else is in the series, but not all the time because there's always a specialty thing or some you know something out there that they do last minute and some people don't know that oh this was a thing it wasn't in the back but here you go you won't have a, you have you have no clue at all you'd have to do some actual research you know a little more work <laughs> and the thing is i love how they say like they have these quotes right i think i've already showed you guys that on the side my video you cannot escape from me uh I'm about to eliminate you, and when you open it, it goes, I am prepared to do anything to become stronger. So yeah, that's see U2's packaging is 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 pretty premium, right? But sometimes simplicity, you know, is enough is better because now you know these guys make a sale because once they pick up Geno, so like, oh, there's a one pan Anaboros. Oh man, oh, I gotta get those here. You don't know what 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 else is in the set. Is this the only piece? 
I think they would imagine that maybe Saitama, since Saitama is the Dagon protagonist that they would, but anybody else, you got to guess because there's no way, you know, there's nothing evident like here. So that's the one plus, you know, that uh, objectively speaking, that uh, Pop has over uh, U2s, right? Um, of course, mine's, you know, these protectors. You could some depending on where you get these protectors. You could buy protectors cheap. I buy them in bulk, as, as I've stated in previous videos. Um, I buy it in bulk so that you know you don't have to. I, I could get them on you know a, a bunch on the cheaps, right? So for me, protectors won't be too much of a problem. But for the people who just want a one-off and they're interested in making sure that their their stuff is uh, in minty condition, well, unfortunately. You, you'd have to find, actually go out of your way to, to get a protector. This is not something that comes standard. And unfortunately, Hot Topping in those places were not going to... So maybe they do. Some, some, some stores do. But I, I've noticed that it's not as frequent. And to be honest, some of them is not as good as, you know, the, the stuff that I have. But again, yeah, I, I, it really depends on the store, right? And the good news for Pops is that culture-wise, these things are more accessible. This, there, you know, if this protector for this is done, is cached, there's no protection for it. You'd have to buy a whole other U2s just to get the one exactly factory uh, protector for this, unfortunately. So for those who are in the, into having everything mint to include original uh, protective packaging mint, then unfortunately they have not invented replacement uh official replacement um protectors for these and these do not well i mean they do fit funko pop protectors right the, that it does fit but the problem is this it's short and so there's clearly it doesn't it, a, a, a millimeter uh, you know, of extra plastic that's noticeable and it's just mm, you know what I mean? I, I kind of wish that U2s did just make it the same size as this, but I think Pop might have sued them or something. Funko <laughs> might have sued them for, for doing something like that. But yeah, um, yeah. Subjectively speaking, um, I think the art here is better than 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 this, right? Um, but yeah. So now the next segment is going to be about the open vinyl product which is coming next and this is what they look like outside of the package um yeah uh, as you can see we got the pop on the left a little bit shorter than the than the u2s to the right but i think overall mm, ugh. They're about the same in mass, I, I would say. Um, yeah, the problem with my pop, that Genos, uh, he, he has a tendency to fall. Um, but let's look, look, let's look at the hair first before I do singles. The hair is clearly uh, more detailed on the right and a lot more going on, you know. Um, but as far as the small details go, the, the pop does pretty good, you know, not too bad given the limited amount of, you know, uh, pose that it's got, the detail on the the cyborg part of the arm, right? Um, let's see. They both got earrings, except one's wearing white. This one's got silver. Uh, they definitely get the... the um, A little bit of the detail on the sleeves of the vest, correct? Except that one's more smaller than the one over here. It's finer in detail, you know? Um, yeah. The cyborg parts, they're comparable, I guess. Um, because it's a little bit bigger, there's more, you know. You can see it more. It's more, you know. Obvious, I guess. Let's go with the pop first. Uh, this one's uh, gotta convince them to to stand. It's it's terrible. It's one of the things that I have difficulty with. 
I might have to do, I don't know, like, air dryer, hair, hot, hot air blower, you know, treatment to try to get the vinyl to, to bend in a manner that allows them to stand more straight, right? Um, but yeah, not, not a bad look. Um, let me, uh, if so that you guys can see better folks. Yeah. So for the pop viewer, you know, it's the guy who's into pop. It's not a bad look, you know, the, the standard pop look. I mean, it, it could get tiresome if you're, you know, but if uh, you can never get enough of the, the, the way pops look, then <laughs> this is a win, you know? Right. Um, so yeah, next let's go look at the U2s. Yeah. And this one, he's got a, it looks like he, there's a belt here. There, there's not a belt in this one. So can't really, you know, uh, yeah, but he's got his, uh, pose on, you know, pretty good. Right. Yeah. But that hair, that hair, <laughs> the way the hair is all textured and stuff so it's kind of kind of cool right, sorry about that folks i'm just trying to adjust accordingly so you guys can see better right but yeah the the limitation is the i guess with with youtube's is the eye so if you get if you can't if you can get an if you can't get enough of the eyes then you win but you know it can get a little repetitive but so can funko pop <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hang on. So, yeah. Um, final thoughts. This this figure, for as plain and as thing as it is, is a grail piece. I believe it'll be anywhere from sixty to hundred bucks plus. Um, versus this, which is just just came out like maybe two years ago, a, a year ago. Uh, when it, if it, if it, when it catches on, I figured I'd be on top of it, which is why I got all the one punch mans on the U2s because it, it can be, it, the, uh, the possibility of it being a grail like this is a grail. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I know grails used so loosely, but you know, to somebody who's not paying thousands of dollars for a pop this might be considered a grail, you know, fine. You know, it all really depends on where people are financially for, for people who, who aren't very comfortable with paying so much, you know, the $80 pop is kind of a grail, right? Um, this, the starting price of this bad boy is 30 bucks, which might be more than most practical people can, you know, they're like, what? For that, just a plastic, you don't even move, no nothing, just kind of for 30 bucks, no articulation, just what? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it, it, it can be jarring, but for somebody who's so used to just paying outrageous amounts of money for certain things, um, it's, 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 it's easier for me to, <laughs> to, for somebody like myself who's a collector to just, you know, go for the gusto and not feel too bad about it might be a psychological thing but yeah overall my thoughts i i think between these two again um if you're a pop guy then you li like me historically then this is the 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 look that you've become accustomed to and and enjoy right um u2s is definitely owning u2s and sets of u2s have has kind of um i wouldn't say raised the it, it's definitely a different um take on things and i can appreciate it right uh because it's just different and i don't you know and, and i enjoy its you know difference i guess this you know subjectively um I'm, I'm a, I would say that, uh, I think the U2's Genos wins 
just because it's got a you know more dynamic pose more realistic kind of stylized situation versus the pop you know but that's you know that that's my preference of course there's people who prefers the bobblehead giant head situation well i mean this is a giant head too but you know not as obnoxious as say the pop right um but yeah uh plus i can appreciate a mouth and a nose <laughs> so i mean there's a nose on this but you know no mouth so you know pops just don't do mouths at all right at least it's rare but you know yeah it's not really what they do okay um but yeah the u2's one i think wins just i don't know if it's a, it, again it's it's subjective right but not actually i don't know even i, I wouldn't even say by a hair it, this is by a lot <laughs> i'm i'm just more dazzled by you know this the the, the pose i guess too slash the detail you know the extra detail um but again that's it it better be given that it's a thirty dollar price point versus a twelve a ten dollar price point with a pop you know what i'm saying so yeah uh that's that's my take on this particular uh uh you know vinyl fig so all right uh final thoughts coming up next final thoughts on this matter um a couple of things on of, of course as i said in the original in the saitama versus you know the Sa saitama u2s versus funko pop video um that the price point you know on the, the price point really at this point is where the collector is you know where the crisis i would say is the pop price is um now retailing from 12 to 15 bucks originally this was 10 to 12 um back in the day before inflation and a bunch of other stuff um so most people will be for people who want to collect more you could get more you can you you know at the time if this was a 30 dollar thing this is like three pops right or two pops now, right? If if this is thirty bucks, this is uh, fifteen. You could get two pops for the one, right? But um, I'm thinking, for me, uh, this is this. It's a higher price point. I think it's because of a lower print run versus this, which again, it, it, that's where the problem is too. Like it's more u2s is a little bit more niche than um than pops and pops already kind of a niche on its own a strong niche because it's it's in the culture you could go in any uh, i imagine work situation and you'll have somebody have pops in their cubicle whether it's actor tv related or sports related or nerd related or video game you know pops have uh, there's a kind of there's a, there's like a pop for every kind of occasion there's not a pop for every i mean there's not a u2s for every occasion yet this is it's still kind of new but it's trying to i would say use the formula that pop use and try to take it to a different tier as far as uh who they who they're trying to cater to but it might be a little they might have put themselves in a more niche situation you know situation because of some of the design choices they've had with some of their stuff, right? Um, in this case, it's pretty good dynamic, right? Um, also, and, uh, one of the things that I brought up in the first part of this segment of the video was the packaging. I've brought this up in the uh, one with Saitama too, that these, yeah, these quality-wise will whoop this, you know, the pops, any day of the week it it owns uh pop because it, it all by default just because it comes with a the a protector again one of the things that i argued in the last video was that the problem with 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 this too much quality is that you know in certain situations less is more in this case more can be a, more or less it can be less and what i mean by that is this for the guys who are absolutely 
in need for things to be absolutely mint. The problem with having um, a protective sleeve is that it's just one of those things that if it gets wrecked, more things to get possibly get wrecked, which means lower the lowered value, right? As far as the, if, if the mintiness is thing with the pop, it's just the box, nothing more. You know, if, if it's, if it's wrecked, then it's it that, you know, less, less to be wrecked because it's just the box, but this includes the sleeve, right? And, the, and here's the even crazier part now, because this comes standard with the thing. If, if the, the protector is wrecked, the original protector that goes with this is wrecked, then it, that might be a problem for certain collectors too. Cause it's not the OG, you know, cause it, it demands that there's a, some, you know, collectors, if everything is OG is necessary, uh, then, then, and this, this, uh, protector is no good, then it, it kind of fails. It could, it, it, it possibly fails. And the problem is there really isn't actual official replacement, um, protectors for U2s that fit U2s. The only product that I've seen that was, um, being sold that, um, that can fit, uh, U2s is by a uh, uh, collector protector, but to be honest, this product that they say that was for U2s really just fits pops, and it's annoying because it's. I was really disappointed. I'm about to show. I, I want to demo it to you guys. It was sold under the premise of this being um, a protector for, for for this, but the problem is, uh, I'm just going to show it to you guys. Uh, this it's it, the way it was advertised it just um it, it shows that it fits the u2s and it and and it does right the the, the problem again is I, i'm gonna demo it for you guys i know extra lesson it, it does fit but here's the problem uh, the, the the problem is this the, the space on this protector, uh, just so I can, I, I just got to, you know, I got it. I got to show you guys the whole thing. <laughs> Extra con bonus content, <laughs> bonus content for you guys. Uh, here. I just, I got to just be able to show you first. Let me, uh, <sighs> this is the tricky part guys. Um, Sometimes you'll you'll know you'll learn that when you when you're in this community you get these things just you have to to make it clear you but you you have to peel a lot of stuff and in order to and then the demo the demoing the product you know and you gotta actually do it correctly right and in this case this is how I was taught from the vinyl vaulted vinyl video how to properly um, set these things up right and okay now i'm about to show you guys the problem so this is what it looks like there the great news is that it's big enough to fit the sleeve not every single funko pop collect uh, uh armor can fit the 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 sleeve it's too tight however uh, then this is where the the problem the the, my biggest beef with how they advertise this and it was my fault because i should have known um let me raise this up so you guys can see it is that it's quite literally the same size as a gosh damn funko pop protector right and the thing is i, I, I know you're seeing this thing but it's that's here let me i got a I want to drive the point home, folks, in and and you'll you so you guys can see my gripe. For the for the for the people for the collector that's super OCD, you know what I mean. <laughs> you, you they're about to see why this is a problem, um, too. Okay, uh, gosh dang it, this is so impromptu. I'm sorry, this was not planned, but I I just I just feel that you guys have to see this for yourselves, right? Um, gosh, damn it. Uh, here we go. Let's see if I can put it in and drive the point home so that you can kind of see what's going on. All right, here we go. So here is the problemo. What the heck? What the heck? 
Okay, so I'm 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 a little confused as to why this is stick sticking out so so strongly. It shouldn't be, but um yeah. No, um see there's that extra space there. It's just not built for that. Look there here's here's the original thing. It's a whole quarter of an inch smaller than Thing. The, the space is just it was really for pops it's just why i'm annoyed because like if that were the case i'd have just gotten funko pop protectors and 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 and, and use it on this and oh, i felt like i wasted money because i thought that th these guys were serious about this being for real a u2's uh protector collector protector i gotta admit you guys i, I felt like you guys did me dirty but to be fair in their defense this you know the the measurements were exactly the same and I should have paid attention, you know, I should have paid attention, but still uh, I, they just marketed it differently, but this the same exact gosh damn thing, man. There's just, there's not just, there's just really not much of a difference in general, but yeah, see that's, and, and again, like I said, that's my point is this, there's no actual official, uh, alternative, uh, protector that's really catered for um the the youtube so should the so should this package be bad you know uh, that's the problem of being too premium <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it, this might not be considered mint in that case yeah good luck you know they're trying to convince the, the ocd collector to who obsesses about these things and there are a lot they, 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 there's people if you guys in the pop community know there's always that one dude who's in the stores just absolutely looking at you know every nook and cranny to make sure that you know for mintiness on something right um so yeah the, the problem with this is that and again another problem too is because of the sleeve you don't actually see the pop itself and and when it's advertised like this in the store you, you you're just kind of like well what does it look like on you know under there some people just don't have the patience to guess and when they're asked 30 dollars for it they'll be like mm, i don't know what it looks like so i might have to do some research first and time you know just try, the attention all of those things you know pops when they when they're looking at it it's already just right in their face they're like okay yeah this is cute uh, cool this it can be cute but i don't know i this art if, if this is what it looks like in the art maybe but how big is it how could you tell <laughs> I don't know. See, see that's there therein lies the problem guys right it, it uh, sometimes premium could be a little too premium the great news is that's the case just for genos again i think i've shown you guys before some a lot of these uh youtubes also just have it where you can actually see it like pops from the get-go the 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 protective sleeve is already out so yeah you can see that you can see the figure already so yeah but in this case uh, you know what i mean you see the problem it's it's it, it's just not as obvious so and i and i drove this home on the saitama video right overall i'm playing the patient man's game on this because i waited too long to pick this bad boy up it became a grail within a year or two like this sucker was going for 60 80 bucks after two years of being out in about right and then there's you know this uh yeah i'm this this is this is in its infancy and I don't know if it's if, it, if it's going to catch on, if it ever catches on, but I, I'm a little bit of the op, uh, a little bit of an optimistic side, you know, for for even for the niche guys there, there's probably somebody out for the U2s collector. Somebody's going to be a new U2s fan, hopefully, and then they'll uh, want these. And even if it never catches on, I really like these things, so I'm glad that I have them in my own, you know, collect, you know, personal uh, collection. So. I, I feel like I win, but again, you know, I, I cannot ignore the fact that this is a real, uh, a legit grail, you know, within the proper context, right? They, obviously, depending on your ex social economic, you know, status, right? Some grails are <laughs> are not the same, right? And and then there's 
this, which is half the price or a fraction of the price kind of expensive towards the grill and could possibly be a, a once it's out of print if they decide not to make this no more then it'll be a thing like right now um one of the u2s that i want is a hundred dollars on ebay right now because it's out of print and he's the only one selling it because again there's just so niche um i've seen it as high for 200 i'm not telling you all what it is but i'm sure when you guys do the research you'll figure it out <laughs> <laughs> I don't want y'all competing on me on eBay when they decide to pull the trigger on that bad boy. So, yeah. Yeah, final thoughts. I would say, for now, the safe bet, Genos. Is it a better product than this? You, you know, factoring where it stands right now uh, as a collectible, this is, you know, Genos Funko Pop is winning. S you know, uh, that that's that's an objective fact subjective as far as the way this thing looks i would say that this is a better look overall you know if i you know no know, knowing what i know now uh if if i didn't know that this was going to be a, a a grail from and these both came out at the same exact time i'd have probably picked this one up from you know the get-go just because of the premium packaging and that that kind of thing but again the, 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 there's a lot to consider this is a culture this is a niche thing uh you know the you guys know pop is a cash down cult in culture right and this is a cult within a cult <laughs> so yeah well all right folks um that's all i got for this segment of vinyl therapy sessions the u2s versus funko pop Genos edition. I am your host, Coco Smooth. Until next video, folks. Ciao.